Hey guys, it's um, been a while, but um, I'm here again with another video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create this sort of exploded head. Uh, I was making a um, a render, and I, I I was just playing around. I found out how to do this, so I decided to share it with you all. How to get how to have control over the um, how much it explodes, distance, and more controls uh, to show. So let's uh, let's get started. All right, so let's start with uh, a simple scene. So I'm gonna quickly just put a plane. I'm not gonna do a complicated scene. I'm just gonna show you guys the exploded features. So. Open up geometry nodes, add the new node network. Okay, and now what we want to do is um, we want to create a a vertex uh, group. So, in my case, for the head explosion, I I already knew that I wanted to select a um, a specific area. So, say like this chin or this ear. But if you want to do it procedurally, you would have to use a raycast or a proximity node. In which case, I think actually I would use a, a raycast node. So if I take this cube and let's set it to not appear in render, visibility, set this to wire. I want this cube to um, affect everything on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this cube into the node network, set it to relative. And let's add in our raycast node. Add the geometry into target geometry. Now let's make a simple extrude mesh. Make it smaller. It hit and we already see uh, something's happening. The ears are not being selected. If we see that whatever goes inside this cube gets uh, gets extruded. So with this we can select. However, it's only working in one direction and that's because there's only a negative one direction. So if we add more to this, we'll see more changes. and you can get different effects. If we switch this to one, we Im essentially invert it. And now anything that's inside of this cube gets selected. So now let's simply select uh, the geometry down here. Let's switch this to flat. Actually, what we can do is we can put an is shade smooth node, not an is shade smooth, set shade smooth. Um, plug that in right here and actually use the raycast to select what's going to be shaded. If we deselect this, we see the uh, Suzanne up top stays um, smooth while the extruded meshes get uh, shaded solid. So if we move this around, we see that becomes true in other places. Continuing on, we are going to adjust our scale to what we want. So maybe 0 0.02. And now we're going to do our recursive um, extrude trick. So let's do um, scale elements, only the top. You don't have to do this. Uh, the, the, I'll show you later, but this is for an effect, a specific effect I want to I want to show. So then we do it again. Extrude. Only selecting what's the box, and then scaling the elements again. Only top. Now. You see that everything is uniform. That's because, well, everything is uniform in the actual geometry. If we go back here, we see squares. We want it to be um, 
a little bit more chaotic. So what we're going to add is a merge by distance. And then we are going to add that into our node system, connect it up, and increase that. Let's pick our selection so that only that portion gets merged. And this is going to create a bit of a chaos. After the merge by distance, if we want more, we could subdivide the mesh. Switch it as you need. Gonna keep it like that. Okay, and then that's the effect that I want. Now we need to cause it to explode. In order for that to work, we're going to go all the way back here to where our um, subdivide meshes right in front of it. We are going to add an edge split or split edge really. And this is going to split all of our edges all over the, the current mesh. If you see everything becomes a, a solid shape, that's because they're no longer connected together. We only want the bottom portion yet again, so reconnect our selection. From there, we want to scale the elements. And if we check this one out, we, we see if we uh, again, connect our selection. Only uh, the selected elements get scaled down. After that, we want to explode this. Uh, we could actually keep this at 1 if we don't want it, or just delete it if you don't want it. After this, we're going to explode this view. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a set position node and do our trick that you've seen me done pretty much every single video where I use the normals to scale a texture. So on the normal, I'm going to scale um, this, in this case, I can use a texture noise, set the color in. You can see that the top is also being messed up. Once again, we need to connect our is hit. This this ray cast is essential at this point. We can see that our effect is too strong. We need to add a vector math, not a vector math, sorry. A math, set it to multiply and lower it down a bit. We could also just to completely explode it if we wish. And there, that's our exploded. I like to keep these uh, sort of like fanned out edges because it just adds to the explosion and we can move our cube kind of like a dynamic effect there. And we mess with our noise in order to get a little bit of a variation. And there, that's how you get an exploding um, part with a procedural selection. So if we bring this, we could actually change the target into our node group here, so we can have a different target. Let's uh, also bring yeah, let's bring in the merge by distance. Again, this is all up to you. Like you can have complete control over what you're selecting out of this. Uh, this part is just the extruding, so I could just okay, and then we are going to add a our 
w factor and our multiply in order to control the expansion and just the evolution there you go and that's the basics of how to get an exploding uh, mesh so now if we say like file import let's import an obj I'm gonna go to my kit bashing folder look for pose uh, let's get uh, this one import we now have our uh, object scale them down a bit there we go get rid of what we don't need okay so now we are going to apply the scale and we are going to grab our geometry node and add the effect onto here so if we just add geometry node add the effect So if we set this over the head, we can see the effect is a bit too strong right now. Remember to reset the origin too. So let's uh, scale this back a bit. Check with our raycast. So we see our recast is actually selecting everything outside of the cube as well. I'm not sure why this is happening. So if I, there we go, negative two. Now it's inside the cube again. The more you know. So just continuously adjust things until it works, I guess. And there we have an exploding head. And that's our exploding head. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope to see you guys next time. I hope you learned something and make some cool renders. Peace.